So I have something called type 1 diabetes. You might call it a health condition. The debate is open as to whether it's a good thing or a bad thing to have. So let us explain what it is and you decide. First off, it's quite different in all but name from type 2 diabetes, which is why we just call it type 1. Although it can onset anytime, type 1 normally onsets in childhood. Uh, I myself was diagnosed with it when I was 16 years old, and that's a little bit later than is normal. The reason it happens is that your immune system uh, attacks certain cells in your pancreas, and your pancreas, like most of the squishy little organs in your body, uh, does something that's really important to keep you alive. In this case, it's regulating the amount of sugar that's in your blood, and also delivering that sugar to your body and your brain, because your body and brain use that sugar as a type of fuel. So if you have type 1, your immune system took out some of the cells in your pancreas and your body doesn't regulate the amount of sugar that's in your bloodstream anymore. Most people with type 1 test their blood sugar many times a day. People with type 1 try to keep their blood glucose in a certain range, but it's not always easy. If your blood sugar is low and you want it to go up, typically you do this by eating or drinking something with carbohydrates or sugar. If your blood sugar is too high and you want it to go down, typically you do this by taking insulin. Insulin is that thing that those cells in my pancreas used to make. And so with type 1, I have to deliver insulin into my system, either via an injection or via an insulin pump. If a person with type 1 wants to eat something, what we have to do is calculate the amount that what we're going to eat will bring our blood sugar up, and then take the appropriate amount of insulin to cover that amount of food so that it equals out and our blood sugar stays relatively level. So everyone with type 1 is a little different. Uh, for me, if my blood sugar is high, I feel a little bit thirsty, a little tired, a little dry in the back of my throat. I feel kind of overall gross. Uh, I have to pee a lot. And so what I would do is test my blood sugar, find out where it is, take the appropriate amount of insulin to bring my blood sugar back down into that normal healthy range. On top of not feeling good, uh, it's not good to have your blood sugar high too much uh, also because that sugar in your bloodstream is bad for certain things in your body like your eyes, your liver, and your circulation. But you don't want your blood sugar going too low either because your brain runs mostly on that sugar that's in your bloodstream. So if I start to go low, I feel a little silly, a little off, uh, like my brain's not working quite right. Um, some people who know me really well can actually tell when I'm low now. And so if that happens, I'll immediately uh, get something with fast-acting sugar in it, like soda, juice, uh, fruit, sugar tabs. Uh, in order to bring my blood sugar back up into that normal range. I'll feel better in about 15 minutes or so, but again, I'll test to make sure that I'm back in the range where I should be. If I go really low, uh, I can pass out. My brain won't have enough sugar to keep itself running. This has only happened to me once in the 16 years that I've had type 1. Um, but if you're often with someone who has type 1 diabetes, you might ask them if they want you to learn about glucagon. Glucagon is another kind of injection uh, that you mix and inject into a person who is unconscious with type 1 diabetes because of course they can't eat or drink anything with sugar to bring their sugar up, but glucagon will do it uh, in a different way. We have a link to a video on glucagon right next to this video. Now there are things other than insulin and food that affect blood sugar. For instance, exercise uh, often brings blood sugar down, but if it's really intense, like sprinting or weightlifting, it might push your blood sugar up. Uh, alcohol affects blood sugar. Sleep or lack thereof affects blood sugar. Stress and emotions can affect blood sugar, sending it up or down, depending on the person. So people with type 1 tend to be pretty aware of how these different things will affect their blood sugars and also tend to carry a blood glucose meter, some insulin, and some juice or sugar tabs or something else to bring their blood sugar up, especially if they're in stressful situations, changing time zones, or exercising. This doesn't mean that people with type 1 shouldn't change their routines or cross time zones or exercise, uh, because all of those things are part of life, and uh, exercise actually seems to have a, a really good effect on blood sugar in the long term. In fact, a lot of pro-athletes have type 1 diabetes, and some of them even say that 
uh, having all of this practice, being diligent and taking care of their health in an advanced way makes them better athletes than some of the normals that they compete against. Finally, and this is really important, just because I'm telling you all this doesn't mean I want you asking me where my blood sugar is or if I need a snack every time I see you. I just want you to understand the basics because this is part of my life. And if you're not sure of something, just ask. Uh, even young kids with type 1 diabetes tend to be kind of like little doctors because of all of this extra information and diligence that they have to put into taking care of their health. And so here's the question that I started with. Is all of this extra work and care uh, that myself and my fellow type 1s have to put into our day-to-day -day routines a good thing or a bad thing? It's different for everybody, but let me just say that if you're lucky enough to meet someone with type 1, they might seem particularly mature for their age. They might exercise a lot and they might know a lot about their body and be particularly aware of their health. They might have a good sense of perspective and, and maybe even a sense of humor that comes with dealing with this kind of serious thing day by day by day. They might be good with numbers. Uh, and some of them, and I can't imagine why, might even be humble. Thanks for watching. This is Welcome to Type 1. And so here's the question I started with. Is it a good thing or a bad thing to have welcome to... <laughs> good thing. Good thing. <laughs>